Nine people are in police custody in connection with India's probe into a suspension bridge that suddenly gave way. Around 500 people were on it, and at least 141 of them died. Sources say most of the victims were women and children. While no official explanation has been given yet, local police have blamed gross negligence and mismanagement as causes for the collapse. This is the moment a suspension bridge in India's Gujarat state broke on Sunday night. The walkway crashed into the river, dropping hundreds of people into the water. Witnesses say the cables holding the platform snapped. Rescuers quickly began pulling people out. Gujarat's home minister says the military was deployed and more than 200 people worked through the night to save as many as they could. दीपावली की छुट्टी हुई थी बच्चों लोगों के और जो भी घूमने के लिए यहाँ पर आए हुए थे सभी एक के ऊपर एक थोड़ा पुल के अंदर ज्यादा लोगों का ज्यादा लोग होने की वजह से टूटने की वजह से ये घटना हुई है the state government has assigned a committee to investigate the incident. Officials say overcrowding was an issue. The bridge could only hold around 125 people, but there were around 500 on it when it snapped. The local police station lays the blame on the firm responsible for maintaining the structure, but did not name a company. An Indian news agency says the bridge was reopened ahead of schedule and didn't receive a fitness certificate from civic authorities. There are also reports that tickets to get on the bridge were sold without restrictions. The nearly 150-year-old structure was closed around eight months ago for renovation. It was open to the public less than a week ago. As the survivors recover in hospitals, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi assures the country that relief operations will be thorough. He's due to visit Morbi tomorrow, the city where the accident occurred. My mind was connected to Morbi. शाहदी जीवन में बहुत कम ऐसी पीड़ा मैंने अनुभव की होगी। World leaders have sent their condolences for those who perished in the collapse. Ishan Garg joins us live from New Delhi with more. Uh, Ishan, are investigations any closer to confirming the cause of that bridge collapse? Well, the investigations are looking into several issues here, and apparently there has been a lot of uh, things that have gone wrong here. First of all, there's the issue of people crowding over the bridge. Only 125 people were supposed to be on the bridge, but uh, reports suggest that more than 500 were there. So the question uh, arises, uh, who let them be there? The management company of the bridge is responsible for having sold the tickets for the people to visit that uh, bridge. And secondly, there's the question of uh, the bridge not having the appropriate permission the fitness certificate. So now the authorities are also looking at the possibility of, uh, uh, of looking into this construction company and finding out if uh, there had been some shoddy construction work on the side of the construction company as well. Opposition parties are saying that the Bharatiya Janata Party, which is ruling in the state, is responsible for such damage, such a massive calamity. Uh, but the officials are saying that the time right now is to respond to this calamity in terms of rescue and a search effort. So uh, uh, the investigation is going to be conducted by a five-member panel and uh, authorities have assured people that the just, uh, justice will be swift and it will be, uh, and it will be quick. Well, you mentioned the opposition parties. There is an election in uh, Gujarat uh, that is due by early next year. How do you think this accident will affect the ruling party's performance? 
Well, this will certainly play a massive role in the upcoming elections because uh, from a, a Sunday evening, we have seen it's not only the government officials and the rescue people uh, who are heading into Gujarat. A large cadre of the opposition party members are also going into Morbi. We have seen statements coming from the Indian National Congress, the main opposition at the federal level, the uh, the new opponent at the state level, the Aam Aadmi Party, which currently rules in the state of Delhi, is also sending its own uh, party members to aid with the a, uh, rescue efforts. And at the same time, they're also targeting the ruling BJP for uh, saying that uh, this is not an act of God, but rather an act of fraud. So this is a clearly a way for them to target the ruling government. And uh, political experts are saying that this will play an emotional role for many voters as they go into the state elections early next year. As always, many thanks, Ishan Garg in New Delhi.